Hello reception. We're going to make a little video every week. I'm going to send an email home as well to tell you what our theme is going to be that week. So for the summer term, our topic is mini beasts, creepy crawlies. Every week we're going to learn about a different mini beast. So this week, week one, we're going to learn about caterpillars. Do you know what sound caterpillar starts with? Caterpillar. K -k -k. Do you remember how to write your cut? Let's find my card. Here we go. We start at the bottom and we zoom up to the top and around. Can you do it with your magic finger? Get your magic finger ready. We start at the bottom. We go up and around. Fantastic. Can you write a curly cut in the air with your magic finger? At the bottom, up to the top and around. Can you write a curly cut on the floor? At the bottom, up to the top and around. Can you write a curly cut on your knee? Start to the bottom, up to the top and around. Fantastic job. What else starts with a cut, cut, cut? We've got cut for caterpillar, cut for cowboy, cut, 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 cloud, cut, 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 oh my favourite, Captain America, cut, 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 cloak. Oh, I could wear this for fancy dress PE with Joe on Friday. In the email that I've sent to your grown-ups, there's a link to the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got that storybook in my house. It's in school, ready for when we come back. So, Mrs Point, I can't read that one for you. But I have found a video of the author, Eric Carle. He wrote The Hungry Caterpillar, and he even did the pictures too. There's a video of him reading his book to you. So that's very special to have the author read the book to you. Maybe you can watch that with your grown-ups. Now, in the video and in the book, it tells us that the hungry caterpillar did a lot of eating. He ate lots and lots of different types of food. Maybe after you've watched the video, you could try and draw some of the different types of food. Maybe you could even try and write the names for those food too. Remember, we have to sound the letters out and blend them together. I know you're very good at doing that now, reception. Maybe you could have a little look in your garden if you're very lucky to have a garden, or if you go out for a walk for your exercise for the day, have a little look around. Can you find any caterpillars anywhere? I wonder if you can. I wonder what colours they are. Maybe you could draw me some pictures of the ones you find, or you could paint them, or if you have some Play-Doh left over from your dough disco, you could use the dough and do a caterpillar out of dough. Maybe make some different sizes. Make some short caterpillars and some longer caterpillars. You could even do some adding together. Maybe add up the caterpillars that you make with your Play-Doh. There's lots and lots of ideas for us to do. What else could we do? Maybe you could take some pictures. If your grown-ups could take some pictures of the things that you make and you create, then they could put them on our Purple Mash blog. And I'll try and do another little video in a minute to show us how to use the Purple Mash blog because Mrs Point has only just learned how to use it too. Now, I hope you have lots and lots of fun learning about caterpillars. But did you know there's something very, very special about a caterpillar? If you've listened to me reading the story about the monkey puzzle, you might have an idea what it is. In the monkey puzzle, the monkey was trying to find his mummy and the butterfly was helping him. And the monkey told her that his mummy looked just like him. And the butterfly told him that her babies didn't look anything like her. Have you guessed what's special about a caterpillar? A caterpillar does something very special. It changes. A caterpillar eats lots and lots of food and then it builds a cocoon around itself. And when it's ready, it stays in the cocoon for a little while. When it's ready, it starts to wiggle and wiggle and nibble and nibble. And out from that cocoon comes a beautiful butterfly. 
next week we're going to learn about butterflies too. There's some purple mash things we can do. On purple mash I'm going to set you a to-do. It's a picture of how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Now you can colour it in, remember some lovely beautiful colours for a butterfly. And there are also labels for all the different words for the different stages from when a caterpillar turns to a cocoon and then to a butterfly. If you click your little mouse on the letters, on the words, labels, you can move them around and pop them on the right places of the picture. And don't forget, when you finish your work, you can click in the done button, the hand in button, and it gets sent to my computer. And then I can put a smiley face and tell you what I think about your fabulous work. Well done reception, have a fabulous week learning about caterpillars and I'll be back next week to tell you all about butterflies.